Hi everyone, my name is Cyrus. I joined Grin last year to lead the software and app development team. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Android version of the Phase Winner Suite to change settings on your motor controller. You've probably had to take your computer to your bike before to change settings. Using the Android app means you no longer have to do that. In order to do this process, you're going to need an Android phone that supports USB OTG, or USB on the go. Unfortunately, iPhones don't support this right now, so it's just Androids for now. In order to download the app, you'll want to go to the Google Play Store and search for the Phase Runner Suite. Once it's downloaded, you can open it, and you should see Connected, if everything's working properly. If you see Not Connected, then you'll need to go to your settings and enable USB OTG. Once you've done that and you see Connected, then you're ready to start changing settings. The Home menu shows the list of common settings that you'll want to change. Things like motor settings, speed limits, battery limits, that kind of thing. You can go to the top left menu to go to the dashboard to get real-time data from your controller, like RPM, battery current and voltage, etc. Or you can go to the Auto-Tune um, menu to run the Auto-Tune process, both the static and dynamic Auto-Tunes. You can also see the faults and warnings that are currently active on your controller. This is really useful for when you're riding around and trying to troubleshoot issues without having to bring your bike all the way back to your computer to see what's wrong. Additionally, by going to the menu and tapping Import Defaults, you can download the default parameter files for the common motors that Grin sells directly from our servers. Tap the Download Defaults from Grin button, and the most current default parameter files will be downloaded onto your phone. Once that's done, you can select the manufacturer and model of the motor that you're using. Then you can flash those parameters onto the controller as a good baseline for tuning your motor. So with this tool, you'll be able to change most of the common settings that need to be tweaked on the go on your controller without having to bring it near a PC. We do recognize that having all these connectors and cables is a little bit inconvenient, and we are working on a Bluetooth adapter that will allow wireless communication between your phone and the controller. That's coming soon.